Hello everyone! In this video I want to have a look at verbs and phrasal verbs that uh, help us uh, uh, to make life easier. So like um, help us uh, in terms of understanding something. And uh, those are clarify, to clarify, to define, to explain and uh, following phrasal verbs uh, which you will hear uh, in a minute. So uh, the basic meaning of uh, explanation of something it's uh, making uh, the information of uh, that explanation for a person who you explain it uh, uh, to uh, un understandable. So if you uh, came across something ambivalent um, or equivocal, so you don't understand it, it's too complicated and vague, uh, you may ask to clarify it or to define the meaning of uh, those words uh, or may ask for a part of clarification explanation, yes? Uh, three basic uh, words uh, that uh, reach us out from this situation of ambiguity. What about uh, phrasal verbs, uh, the, the most interesting part? Uh, the first one and the most uh, informal is to spell out. So if you don't understand something, you may ask a person to spell it out for you. Yeah, uh, spell like we do with uh, words uh, uh, by pronouncing them, uh, uh, like defining each letter of the word. Uh, yeah. Uh, about uh, the most formal of this row, it's like account for. Uh, if you happen to be um, at interrogation, uh, they might ask you account for the reason uh, or why, uh, please account for uh, what happened uh, on the 8th of March, for example. So, like explain uh, in uh, simple terms. Uh, account for it's uh, the same as uh, clarify or explain. Uh, uh, in the middle of formality, we have uh, uh, set out or the synonym for it is force out. Uh, uh, the reason um, and peculiarity of this uh, two is that uh, we use them only for writing uh, explanation. So if you uh, want to explain something in writing, uh, you have to, like, you, you want to read that explanation, you have to ask about uh, setting out something or forcing out something, particularly in that document. So it's not, uh, it may be applicable to um, a speech, exp uh, verbal explanation, but uh, uh, better to use it uh, in writing form. Yeah, so please um, uh, force out uh, all events which happened uh, in this report. Yeah, so I mentioned all of them and uh, I hope for next time instead of just asking person for explanation and saying please to explain me to you may ask uh, for spelling it out or uh, accounting for events or accounting of something uh, or even maybe for setting out it in a writing form. Uh, written form yeah so yeah practice put them into practice uh, use and uh, make your speech colorful uh, yeah so that's all take care bye for now